The other big turning point in this story, um, and in his story, is Dennis Wilson. Dennis Wilson was the drummer for the Beach Boys, probably the most famous Beach Boy next to the next to Brian Wilson, mm -hmm. um, because of his behavior. He was the good-looking one. He was kind he, of the he wild... was the actual surfer, the only actual the only surfer. surfer of the band. Yes, the story is that um, that Patricia Cranwinkle, A.K.A. Katie, and Ella Jo Bailey, A.K.A. Yeller, were basically heading back to the Topanga area from the beach and they stuck out their thumbs as one did during that era and a car pulled up and a very good looking young man was driving and said yeah i'm happy to drive you where you want to go but if i don't know if you're if, if you're interested but i've got this place up at the pacific palisades um near will rogers park and if you'd like to come up and hang out you can do so and so they do and apparently they have milk and cookies and then apparently they have a lot more than milk and cookies he leaves and goes to the studio and he comes home late that night, like at well after midnight, and he sees this old school bus parked at his home and all the lights on in his house. And he comes in through the back entrance by the kitchen and there's this five foot three man with crazy eyes staring at him. And Dennis's first instinct is, oh my God, who are you? Are you gonna hurt me? Like thinking that this is like a tr an intruder. And instead, Charlie gets down on his hands and knees and kisses Dennis Wilson's feet. And, and so Charlie, whose entire mission in life at this point was to become a famous musician, to be as big as the Beatles. Yes. This is the opportunity he's been waiting for. Exactly. This, this is, is it. literally it. Using these girls for Dennis's pleasure is going to get him the musical connection that he needs. Yes. And it kind of does. It yes. kind of does. You know, Dennis Wilson is like, well, you know, I can introduce you to Greg. I can introduce you to Terry Melcher, who is the hottest you know, producer in music right at that point. And um, he did, I mean, he met him. I, I think they kind of like shined him on a little bit, right? But they, mm -hmm. they did give him some studio time. Yes, right? several attempts, mm -hmm. several attempts, including at Brian Wilson's home studio. Charlie though had a, a little bit of an issue in that he had sort of a performance anxiety. And every time he got into the studio, he botched it. Every huh. single time he got really awkward and uncomfortable and didn't know what to do with the mic. and. He botched it every time. Hey, if you like what you hear, like and subscribe. It really means a lot. And we would love to have you coming back every week. Thank you.